I'm wearing a hat today because it is a bad hair day and I really wanted to record a video. So, it is the fourth week. We're going into week four. Um, <laughs> Alright, so the purpose of this video is to tell you guys what to do when writing. I'm obviously speaking from experience from someone going into Marine Boot Camp, but I'm sure it can go across all branches of the military. Don't take my word for it, but I'm just going to assume so. So, here we go. The first do that you should do if you are a significant other with someone going into boot camp, um, write every day. I know that I watched hundreds of military videos on YouTube. Not a hundred, that's an exaggeration. But, <laughs> I've watched a lot of military videos and so many girls were saying write every day or that they write every day. And I remember thinking in the back of my head, I was like, that's so excessive and so much, I feel like I'm not gonna write every day. Or that like nothing's gonna happen in my day and I'm just not gonna write. Honestly, I've written every day. Sometimes I've written twice a day. I've like sandboxed something and then I've written a regular letter, but I've written every day. It's so second nature and easy now that I didn't realize I'd be so excessive with it. <laughs> so much happens in a day that like you don't realize that you'd tell them um, if they were here. And so having to write it down gives you something to do and a reason to send a letter. I just received a letter from Mike and at the beginning he was like, damn, just received 11 letters from you. It's the best thing that's happened here thus far, which is the purpose of everything. So definitely send a lot. They appreciate it. And I know a couple weeks ago when I made a video, I was asking people to let me know if it is okay to send a bunch of letters at once. Because I started writing the day he left. And I didn't know if sending a bunch of letters at one time would cause the DI to give him crap. But it didn't. He didn't have any issues, clearly. So definitely start writing right away and send them right away. Right away as in when you get the Bluetooth number and address and all that stuff. Another do is to send pictures. It's so easy for us when we're upset to just pull out our phone or a computer and look at pictures of our significant other. For them, they don't have that, obviously. So what I did, I'll show you. I went to CVS and I printed wallet size pictures. They're this small. I have a bunch because they came in grids and you cut them out and I've obviously only gave him one. I'm not gonna give him extras. Pictures of you guys, um, selfies of you, um, stuff like that, and you can also do that through Sandbox as well. Another do is questionnaires. Um, the reason being for this is that I have a lot of questions. Like, I want to know everything. And obviously that's not going to happen because they don't have so much time to write. And I've written in the first couple letters, like, a couple questions for Mike to answer. And <laughs> that's a lot, honestly, because, like, when he gets so many letters, it's kind of overwhelming, I feel like, and he's not going to answer. All of them. He honestly only answered one thing I've asked and it was about a picture I, that I saw of him and so like obviously he was gonna respond about that. So making a questionnaire is something easy for them to do. They can just fill it out and send it right back and that way you're getting answers and you can feel a little bit more sane. Um, I'm waiting for him to send his back to me so I will let you know when I get that but I'm excited to see like what he has to say and um just to answer some basic questions, I guess. Another do is do write um, passages from the Bible, um, song lyrics that remind you of them, and different quotes you might find. Um, it's really easy to Google like quotes for boot camp or quotes for strength or quotes of motivation. Um, they're really easily accessible and you can easily just write them at the bottom of your letter. Um, might be a little cheesy, but I'm sure that it helps. Some don'ts, which are pretty self-explanatory as well, but I feel like it happens sometimes, I guess. Don't write on the outside of the envelope. Don't spray it with perfume. Don't put stickers on it. Don't send nudes. It can wait. Um, you really don't want people looking at your nudes. That's not a thing. Just be smart. <laughs> you don't want to get them in trouble, and it's super embarrassing. So just don't do it. I hope that some of those were things you could pull from the video to put into your letters or um, just ideas, you know. <laughs> I'm such an amateur at all of this. I'm just trying to help someone, anyone. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Happy February again. I hope you guys are staying positive, doing good things. 
Um, before you know it, if you're watching this, if your boyfriend is in boot camp or anything, he will be back and it will be great. <laughs> it's already February, which is crazy because that means, because that means April's approaching. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Next video will probably be about graduation. Stuff then. <laughs> Why was that so quick? Because I have a bunch of stuff I want to talk about. Because I'm a girl. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.